students we will have today uh, the first class for the fourth sem students to have this pharmacognosy and phytochemistry one and the fourth semester it's a subject which is maybe new for you because up to the three semesters you might have gone for the basic chemistry and the basic subjects these all are some coming from this fourth sem according to the regulation you will be having the details about most of the uh, advanced pharmacognosy pharmacy subjects so it's interesting this is the first uh, Uh, pharmacognosy and phytochemistry one pharmacognosy and phytochemistry two you have then comes herbal drug technology then quality control of herbal drugs and you have uh, school, pharmacy practice practice school and you will be having research also so every subject will be having same like the series of uh, increasing the depth of the subject so anyhow this is introduction so we should know about what is the definition of pharmacognosy and phytochemistry and what is the basic history behind so we are going to see only the basic definition and history behind and uh, it will give you the idea and then we'll continue the classes in the next coming scope of pharmacognosy and about classification and subjects will go inside so here i have given my email id and also my phone number so you can even you are most welcome for any doubts to ask with me and also you can clarify give me suggestions also if i left or if i did mistake in my classes it's most welcome by the students to give me suggestions and it will make me to improve myself because me to studying like you and reading and then coming and delivering the classes so here when you come to the introduction of pharmacognosy the word pharmacognosy is derived from the greek word pharmakon the meaning is poison or drug so why we want to say poison or drug means even the class also i have explained you there is a scientist who is to be remembered now in toxicology is the father of toxicology his name is paracelsus who told dose makes any substance whether it should be a food or a drug or it should be poison there is a basic at the time when he told nobody accepted and now we are following that even he is the base to give pharmacy doses your pharmacology teacher might have told dose you can see minimum dose concentration maximum dose concentration in the blood and above which it is called toxic or toxic concentration so everything makes dose makes whether it is a food or a drug or it is a poison or toxicity so here even a water can kill a person even an oxygen can kill a person so you know water is necessary for survival if it is a minimum quantity then it is okay for your thirst if it is large maybe sometimes it is a water therapy and if it is more than that the person may die oxygen also same thing the quantity which is required for your life survival of the life if it is more than which you are taking everything will become poison so this is in the normal normal uh, explanation for any things also it will take the same uh, principle or frame same meaning anything is in a required quantity there will not be any problem if it is more than your required quantity automatically the person will be in trouble so you see pharmacognosy is derived from a greek word pharmakon which is meaning drug or a poison and gnosis meaning it require acquires a knowledge or literally meaning entire knowledge of the drug so you can see totally if you see pharmacognosy entire knowledge of drug so here when we come to the 
the scientific study of a structural what you are going to study the scientific study of structural physical chemical and sensory characters like organoleptic characters odor taste color these all comes organoleptic characters and uh, crude drug crude drug a drug which is before processing it is called crude drug of vegetate vegetable origin that means plant origin flora or animal origin zoo and and the mineral origin all the three can be included incorporated in the pharmacognosy includes also their history cultivation from where because it is origin and the geographical source is also very important so history cultivation of the medicinal plants these all comes in the pharmacognosy producing them and method involved in collection see collection you may you have to remember collection also there are many types of collecting in agriculture how you do the same thing will be in medicinal property drugs also when you are collecting it has to be collected in the proper means so collection how you are by plucking or by means of instruments you are used or you are dam uh, uprooting or if you are using any type of uh, exudates is taken by means of any insertions are made by means of metals so these all collection and other particulars included in the books and to be treat and before and during uh, collecting related to the treatment they receive during their passage after packing everything to procedure producers and to the distributors and to the pharmacist and then to the consumer <clears throat> and then what do you mean the crude drug there is some some dumb definition should be the crude drug so it means <clears throat> they harvested something which we taken from the uh, garden or from the field uh, harvested and usually dried plants and animals and sources of pharmaceutical use or medicinal uses a product before they undergo any type of extensive processing or modification before modification or extensive processing that particular drug is called crude drug crude drug means what which is having medicinal value which is having pharmacological value which is having pharmaceutical value which is medicinal plants or animals or minerals which is before undergoing any type of extensive processing or modification then it is called crude drug crude drugs are derived from minerals vegetables and that means plants and animal kingdom crude drugs of vegetable and animal and minerals origin form the subject matter with which the pharmacognosy is concerned so this is the definition even crude drug comes a part of the pharmacognosy first what is pharmacognosy and what is crude drug this is the definitions very important when you before going to the things so example of drugs crude drugs what is the example of crude drugs maybe entire and uh, plants entire animals can be used as a crude drug like mentha preparata lobelia catra and this cochineal these all are some of the examples which is entire plants like this is mentha preparata so entire organ also for example if you are using complete leaf complete root complete stem complete um, co- um, uh, wood or organs of the animals if you are using that is complete organ that is also complete organ example so it can be an animal part or it can be an plant part complete part so if it is senna leaf clove flower fennel fruit and the linseed seed complete seed quassia wood part and the cinnamon bark liquorice root part and also you can see gla- thyroid glands of the animals and also even you can use liver of shark so li- cod liver of cod liver oil you might have heard about shark liver oil and capsules they are complete organs will be corrected they are called they are also entire organ entire plant entire animal entire um, uh, substance or entire are a part of this complete part that is example like this is senna leaf this is clove and uh, next minerals stock chalk kaolin these all are example for minerals they are also used as a medicine this is actually catrantis or example the uh, the insect which is completely used as a crude drug and substance derived from the plant 
or animal, they are called as unorganized drugs. So students should know here in this junction, what is this unorganized? What is this organized? So there will be a classification of drugs also. They will be classified as organized drug and unorganized drug. Organized drug means the part of the plant or a part of the animal. This is a part. So if you take a part, a part of the plant like leaf, stem, root, they are called as organized drug. And if you take a part of the animal like liver or any type of um, some part of the animal skin, then it is called, uh, or if it is any type of part like uh, skin or the um, liver or even if it is, um, um, uh, it's, uh, uh, for example, gland, so then it can be called as a part of the plant that is called uh, organized drug. What is then unorganized drug? Unorganized drug means exudates which is obtained from the plant. For example, if it is a gum, if it is a resin, which is obtained from the plant. For example, I will tell you always, everybody knows that aloes, aloe vera, aloe vera, aloe vera, katala is more useful in our southern region for cosmetic purposes we are using. So when you are taking that leaf, we are not using the complete leaf. We will take only the inside, the jelly part, the exudate which is obtained from the leaf of that particular plant. So that is the plant which is taken on the drug part is the exudate which is obtained from the leaf. They are unorganized drug. So you can see that some substance derived from the plant or animal, then they are called unorganized drug. Example, opium, aloes, and uh, uh, tragacanth, racines, musk, beeswax, gelatin. These all are example for this. Opium, you know that it is a fruit. But in that fruit, there is an insertion will be made. There is a gummy part in the picture you are showing. That is the exudate uh, which is used for this many, many years. They are depending on many drugs like uh, morphine, codeine. Uh, these all are obtained. Labelia, these all are obtained from them. And also you can see this, um, uh, the aloe vera, <coughs> dried one, unorganized drug. For detailed description of each individual, drugs have to be followed, points are considered. So in a book, in a pharmacognosy book, seven points <coughs> I have made. Seven points for any drug will be, there are many other points, they will be added from one point can be made into many. But any of seven points are minimum will be seen in any books. What are they? First one, any drug if you take, first one is origin, including what is that origin, biological and geographical, from which country, which place, which kabale, where type of altitude, all these things comes in geographical sources and botanical, biological and botanical source of the plant and the knowledge of the history and the name of the drug first one. And second one, cultivation and preparation, including details of cultivation of the medicinal plants, method of collection, how you are going to collect drying, packing and other treatment of the drugs will be included in the pharmacognosy subject. And during the preparation of the marketing, there will be a lot of preparations will be there. How you are drying, sometimes it will be roasted, sometimes it will be powdered, sometimes it will be removed and it will be made into different uh, modifications can be done in the processing. In the, to, uh, that all included in the for preservation and uh, how it is removed, uh, how it is, uh, these all things will come in the pharmacognosy subject. So, number three is characters. What do you mean by characters? The physical character and also what is the dimensions, surface area, fractures and sensory characters, color, odor, taste. These all things comes under these characters. Characters, all the, even, even including characters, uh, the microscopic characters, macroscopic characters, all these things will be seen. Histological characters, that is what microscopical characters, I am telling that histological characters, apart from the macroscopic character, microscopic characters also comes under this plant details or animal part details as a crude drag. Everything comes in the pharmacognosy. So histological characters, microscopical characters, which help in the identification of the drug in powder form and the fundamental or the fundamental importance in pharmacognosy will be given very detailed. So that is the four, there are the three points. And the fourth one, constituents and test. What is constituents and test? That means it, the chemical constituents is very important for any therapeutic action. You should know that 
what type of component is present in the particular crude drug, why it is giving this type of pharmacological action. So, constituents include both reputed active con uh, in constituents and also other constituents. Sometimes active constituents will be an alkaloid. Other constituents, flavonoids, flavoring agents and the coloring agents and tannins and other carbohydrates may also be present in that particular comp particular plant part or particular crude drug these all details should be given will be comes under pharmacognosy constituents and reserve food material like carbohydrate which may be present in them and the chemical identity tests also they will be giving and also based on the nature of the component so these all important things which will be seen in the pharmacognosy so a pharmacist who is undergoing or working under herbal formulation or herbal drugs he will inspect by means of referring this herbal details uh, or the pharmacognosy books which gives what type of constituents, what type of test, what type of assay can be performed for this identification. So, the four points will be there, very detailed. First one is biological source and geographical source of the compound <clears throat> and then you can see that is they will be giving the details about um, uh, after the detail about the pharmacology and uh, you can see here and then it will be having the cultivation and collection and then comes the characters then comes the constituents so four we have seen first one is geographical source biological source and then cultivation collection procedures and then constituents then comes the constituents and testes and after constituent testes then only we are coming to the adulteration so this adulteration is a, is a big topic and it is a short questions which are and also essay question also they have asked in your many times in the questions like how they are adulterate adulteration means immediately the students should know that how they are adulterating in the normal milk they will add water am i right it's uh, so for their uh, for their money making or to make so it is intentionally adulterating sometimes in non intentionally sometimes without knowing there may be hairs of the animal or sometimes some some plants when they are collecting they may collect another plant without knowing may be added so in non intentionally adulteration intentional adulteration for the benefit so there are different types of adulteration is there this should be identified by the pharmacist when you are going to prepare a drug for the treatment so <clears throat> this plays a major role for the pharmacist to identify the adulteration so adulteration include materials added fraudulent and the matters which has become associated with the drug owing carelessness and handling during collection, preparation, packing and transport. But sometimes it may be intentionally also they used to add for the profit benefit. So we have a chapter about that. That time we will discuss about the even adulteration also. I will give you a small, uh, um, a small lecture about adulteration, different types of adulteration. It is necessary for the students to give a reference and to make your notes. Evaluation, it is also our duty to evaluate physical evaluation, chemical evaluation, biological evaluation and the characteristics of the drugs. So, physical evaluation means like uh, ca the external characters by means of having ash value, physical and also uh, um, uh, you can see extractive values and you can see uh, moisture content and we can <coughs> even have viscosity if it is a liquid so the refractive index like that many types of things can be performed for physical evaluation chemical evaluation by chemical test various reaction with chemicals and also coloring reaction and also quantitative qualitative test can be done and the biological evaluations also can be performed like in microbiology or it can be done for pharmacological animal studies can also be done for their <coughs> pharmacological and therapeutic activity can be determined so the seventh one is uses what all it is category what is the what is the uses of the plants what is the uses of the crude drugs whether plant source or animal source what is its use what is its applicant application to the mankind what is the use for us so these all things will be given in any pharmacopoeia or any any type of pharmacognosy subjects these are all the things which comes so seven points very important a drug <coughs> detail what type of detail of a crude drug can be studied in pharmacognosy means a student should be able to say that <coughs> all the seven the seven can be many but still the seven points should be mentioned like biological 
and the geographical source initially and detail about the plants and then comes its cultivation collection and how to uh, collect up to the consumer stage and then comes the characteristic what is this characteristic morphology and microscopic characters and all the details about characteristics of the of the particular crude drug right? and the fourth one is constituents and the test chemical test can also be added all the details about the crude drug right? and then comes adulteration intentional non intentional what type of adulteration where which plants can be adulterated intentionally non intentionally adulter uh, plants also another plant will be there without proper uh, active principles active constituents may also be adulterated so we should know <clears throat> what all the plants can be adulterated for a particular plant or animal sources evaluation <coughs> can be done by uh, like physical evaluation chemical evaluation and also biological evaluation separately there are many type of evaluating procedures will be given for each crude drug in pharmacognosy and finally it should be uses so then now we are coming to the history of the pharmacognosy this is also an important part sometimes they used to ask what is the history of pharmacognosy and definition of pharmacognosy give detail so in ancient physician period that is egyptian period ancient egyptian period the ancient egyptian 3000 before christ were experts in using drugs for curing diseases long back 3000 years before christ experts is using drugs of curing diseases and the healing of the sickness undertaken by the priest doctor that a priest doctor and pharmacist son who prescribed and a prescribed medicine the crude drug of vegetable origin used including or includes aloes gum mir poppy pomegranate colocynth linseed squill coriander onion anise melon castor oil these all are some of the example i am giving through vegetable origin this is the first prescription you see the prescription which is called papyri if you see in internet they may give first prescription papyri this is an evidence for us the first papyri prescription was written in the tombs of egyptian tombs you may be knowing egyptian tombs the first recorded prescription were found in egyptian tombs these are the heretic papyri eberus papyrus and gynecologic papyrus so this having a lot of details for usage of for the gynecology for the females in the for uh, they have given in uh, uh, details about this prescription usage of the drugs in papyrus especially there are cardiac also they have mentioned heart papyrus is written by about in 1500 before christ 1500 before christ bc but it was believed to have been copied from earlier texts the papyrus that is eberus papyrus is an 110 pages scrolled which is been 20 meter long this is an example of the prescription just a picture in the tomb they are taken so what is this papyrus papyrus scrolled contains 700 magical formulas and the flock remedies that we know that all now we are changed into many remedies from the crude drugs which they have used in 3000 years back 3000 bc 3000 plus 2000 5000 years back it contains many incantations meant to turn away disease causing demons and there is also evidence of a long tradition of empirism the period before christ 3000 years before the papyrus contain the prescription contain treatises on heart also 
it notes that the heart is the center of the body, center of the blood supply with vessels long back, 5000 years back that should be with vessels, blood vessels attached for each member of the body. That means the blood vessels carrying blood to each and every parts of the body have been written. Physiology can have been written very clearly in this prescription and given treatment by means of various crude herbs they have used in Egyptian tombs they have written. Second one in history which we have to remember, there are many coronology but still we are selected one, the Babyl Babylonians, Babylonians, hanging God on Babylonians. The Babylon medicine was known, law of Hammurabi, 772 BC. The drugs used were mainly of vegetable origin. The drugs used include 250 materials of plants and 180 material of animal source. Many of these drugs were known to be are known to the ancient Egyptians. And number three in chronology, old Indian medicine which we are coming to the history. The Rig Veda, the Ayurveda now existing, that is Ayurveda. There is Rig Veda in Ayurveda and Ayurveda. You can say Akoko 2000 before Christ it has been written contain the scared plant materials or scared medicinal plants rare and like this you can see there are many plants which are not we know at medicinal use like sage, cedar, sweet grass, follow tobacco and together they are referred to as four scared medicine in that period they are used. The collection of plant materials was done only by an innocent, pure, religious person according to Rig Veda. The fresh plants were considered to be the most effective in that period. The most celebrated Indian drugs were by Rig Veda, sandalwood, clove, pepper, now also we are using, cardamom, caraway, ginger, Benzoin, cannabis, castor oil, sesame oil, aloes. If I want to say the Indian drugs and Indian crude drugs, I cannot stop within an hour. It is a long days, days it needs. Lots of millions of plants are there, medicinal plants. Still we have to undergo research is needed. For the old Chinese medicine is also having an importance in pharmacokinase. Beside the famous acupuncture, nerves acupuncture, you know, the Chinese medicine, acupuncture everybody knows, or moxibition, acupuncture, finding the points, meridian points and pinning by means of points and giving the energy by means of moxibition herbal, burning in the warming the needle is the acupuncture method is famous in Chinese. Apart from the Chinese medicine is very much knowledgeable and also it has many herbal medicine. And you can see the person Pin Tong Kong Mo thousand years that is before Christ contained an incredible number of medicinal plants and drugs of animal origin. This book he has written includes many recipes for every disease among the plants and minerals highly esteemed for its magic. Health including power where ginseng is an interesting plant. I have given a ginseng lecture also in my website. You can see that. Rhubarb, ephedra, star anise, pomegranate, what a, what a fruit and it is having a lot of medicinal value. Aconite is also very good medicinal value. Opium is centuries. Still we are using opium. It is a very old Chinese drug for diarrhea and dysentery. Opium. Now also how chronic dysenteries can be only cured by opium. Crude opium. 
and the Greek and Romans having a lot of history in the drugs and in 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 pharmacognosy. Pythagoras or Pythagoras in 560 before Christ be saying use the drug as mustard and the squill squill you might have heard now we are using as a rodent poison it looks like same like white uh, um, our uh, uh, garlic but it is not garlic it is it is a poison actually it contains squillarin squillarin in a which is having a, it's a um, it's a rodent poison but it has been used it is found that is as a drug in 560 bc by pythagoras or pythagoras and hippocrates in 460 before christ was famous with numerous drug and wrote corpus hippoc hippocartium or corticum 460 hippocarticum you can say hypo caratium or caraticum you can say 460 bc the greek empire was followed by that of the roman dioscorides is a do doctor dioscorides in 40 to 90 after the death of christ ad who was a greek by birth he was the first to describe the drug and his work greek herbs or greek herbal of greek herbal of dioscorides include 5000 medicinal plants he has collected 5000 medicinal plants you see now for collecting 2 3 medicinal plants we are finding more difficult we need that this and but he in that day is 5000 medicinal plants is collected add a addition of animals and mineral drugs given detail in a book also pliny who lived about the same time of dioscorides was also an eminent author of natural history galen you may have heard about galen there is a father of medicine galen 134 to 200 after the death of christ was a physician and he who described the use of galenical preparation he only found instead of taking as a leaf or a root and directly eating you make it into a preparation and which can be easy for the patient to consume he only started to prepare now we have very formulas very much formulas tablet capsules injection syringe uh, injections now you can see advanced formulation like implants transdermal inhalers what all things we have patches so you can see what all things are available all things started from galen who first prepared galenical preparations and then makes all the persons to then islamic contribution they become elegant sweet color and make the patients to consume comfortably they gave islamic contribution in islamic writing were found the first beginning of chemistry the name of which is derived from the arabic word kemia that's a chemistry kemia arabic word kemia as where also such familiar word alcohol and alkali came arabs added numerous new plants and medicaments to those already known to the greek and romans but they made the elegancy as i told they made them more feasible or attractable for the patients to consume in the, their days pharmacy attained the highest reputation and became the independent branch of medicine it is interesting to note that the first dispensary first dispensary was opened in baghdad you know that baghdad is the capital of iraq you know now it is completely now they are redeveloping but still baghdad is the main center for medicine center trades in those days the first pharmacy first pharmacy sadalia sadali sadalia that means was sandalwood made up of completely sandalwood the first pharmacy was started in baghdad 
and you can see the dispensary made by full of sandalwood and named as sadaliya even they used to say sadali means pharmacist now also in in arabs sadaliya that name rasi in 850 to 932 after the death of christ who was born in rai in persia was the director of baghdad hospital in the days of al manzur al manzur the name of the person which needed for you to remember razia or raze the published a book alawi kabir and sina the name is little bigger i have written the original name but sina can be shown abu al hazain ibn sina usually they'll write sina sina from arab in 982 or 1037 after the death of christ he that the period sina was there and sina who named a latin latinized to avicenia whose name was latinized to avicenia sina can also be in latin they used to say avicenia so it's ibn sina can also be latinized avicenia is very interesting name an interesting person in arab history he was the one of the most eminent and gifted arabian physician why because he wrote a book you can see canon canon you can see in the internet canon fi albet was being described as the most famous medical book ever written ever written how many medical books have written but still canon is an ever written medical textbook and having an dominated and the medical schools in european schools they used for 15 up to 15th century medicinal text ever written that is a word who will get that ever written and as having dominating the medical schools the school of medicine in europe and asia even in india also and serve as a chief source of medical knowledge for 5 centuries till 15th century you see it was 10th century 1037 it was published means 10th century to 15th century 5 century 500 years that is the only book canon canon fi albak or canon is you can see sina is one of the person that is abu al hazan ibn sina 980 to 1037 after the death of christ and again i am writing that canon fi alta book or canon book written by remembering the students to remember this sina abu al hazain al bin sina 980 to 1037 after the death of christ see that canon of medicine book and it is an encyclopedia of medicine in 10th century and a five books compiled with persian physician philosopher avicenna is the another name for sina abin sina is the arab name avicenna is a name which is converted in the french or it is by by means of a uh, latin it has been given a name avicenna and uh, completed in 1025 that means in 10th century it was for 15th century five centuries they have used the canon of medicine remained a medical authority for centuries ever written book that's the name which is given it sets the standard of medicine and medieval europe and islamic world and was used as a standard medical book through the 18th century in europe and it is an important book for unani medicine 
ಯುನಾನಿ ಯುನೋಮೆಟಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಯುನಾನಿ ಯೋಗ ಹೆರ್ಬಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಯುಷ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಯುನಾನಿ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನೋನ್ ಫಿ ಅಲ್ಟಾ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ಸಿನಾ ದ ಅದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟಿನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವಿಸಿನಾ so don't forget this name again and again i am repeatedly telling abinal batar next 1197 to 1248 after the death of christ was the best arabian pharmacognosist and a botanist and ranked with the dioscorides dioscoride he was the beginning stage and as a respect of father of medicine dioscoride before galen in this person also in arabian contribution abin al batar has the respect of dioscoride he wrote a book jami al mufarrat contain description of 200 drugs sheikh daud al antaki wrote a book named Tascarat Uli Al Albab now known as Tascarat Dawood Al Antaki which describes several hundred herbs besides drugs of animals and mineral origin this is about the history if i go on telling the lengthy it will be the class we will have the discussion about the scope of pharmas pharmacognosy and we will continue the classification in the next class thank you for being with me